The Docker toolbar is a container that controls the flyouts that would normally reside at the right side of the work area. To open the toolbar, select from the window menu or right click in the menu area and make sure the docker is checked in the list. I recommend you place it top right in the menu area as it controls the dockers that will appear beneath it. They include clip art, team names, the stitch list and my thread charts. Notice at the top of each flyout there is a pin and an X. The pin, when sitting facing downwards, locks the flyout in place. Left clicking on the pin lays it sideways and the docker will fly away, waiting for it to be reactivated. Hitting the X will close the flyouts and they will need to be reopened by selecting in the docker toolbar. The remaining flyouts are Colorways Editor, Color Object List, Object Properties, The Overview and Design Properties. They can be floated off the work area or to another monitor by left clicking in the head of the box, holding down and dragging. You may wish to do this to give more room to add detail. To redock, Left click and hold and drag back towards the docking area and release the mouse when you see a background turn blue. It is also possible to make the boxes wider by passing the mouse over the edge of the boxes until you see the double sided arrow. Left click, hold and drag and then release. The two boxes I have open all the time while digitizing are the object properties box from where I can view and set various properties associated with the object that is selected. And of course the colour object list, which is my roadmap to the design, showing the order of stitching, the tool used to create the object, stitch type and number of stitches. More details on each of these in their own articles.